Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your October mid-month tarot reading. This is for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I thank you guys so much for everything you do for the channel, especially watching the readings and subscribing. That means a lot to me. And I love doing the readings, so thanks for sharing your energy with me. If you are new here, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. I post new readings every Friday and then typically again on Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check a different part of your chart or just check back in a couple of days and see what's new. Now, I also really appreciate it when you hit that like button because it does something to the YouTube algorithm so that YouTube will show the reading to people who are searching for Pisces tarot readings. So let's get the advice here for Pisces, please. What guidance do you have for Pisces? Whoops, I'm going to just let that fall out. What guidance do you have? What does Pisces need to know? Oh, cards are wild today. They want to tell a story, I guess. So let's let them do just that. They're ready. So we'll do our tarot reading, and then we will do an Angel Answers Oracle card reading. we got the Page of Wands here. We're going to put that there for a minute. We've got the Queen of Cups as the current situation, and... The immediate influence is strength. In your destiny position, you have judgment. The distant past, you have ten of wands. The more recent past, the knight of wands. Interesting, you have the seven of wands coming toward you. You're represented here by temperance. And yeah, nice. The person or situation around you is the hierophant. You've got the eight of wands in your hopes and fears. You've got the queen of swords in the outcome. The bottom of the deck... You have the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel like there's some kind of a conversation that needs to be had to move things forward because you do have a bit of cautious energy here or something that you've been waiting on that just hasn't been moving with a lot of speed. Um, but you do have that Eight of Wands and that will help a little bit. But you have here Leo, Sagittarius. You've got Aries here too. You've got, all, you've got the fire signs in general, but you also have Taurus. You have... Um, water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's a very fiery reading as I really look at this. And you do have um, Earth and Water. But if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, they're here. Okay. So I do feel like you have opportunities with money and work too. There's, there's a lot here to do with just moving forward. And it's a mature energy in this reading. You've got a really nice mature energy with having five major arcana here and it's got like just the right amount of spark to move things forward so for some of you with matters of the heart you may have somebody who's holding back feelings for you and it could be a reconciliation it could be a life partner here a soulmate who either has been in and out or is was just out i guess um, so I will say that because I haven't had a lot of reconciliation readings this go around, but I do feel like you have an opportunity here if you've been separated from someone and you've really, if this is for somebody who's really been working on other things, focused on other things, I do feel like there's an opportunity there, but there's definitely a woundedness and it's going to take time, you know, um, it's not going to be overnight. So there's healing energy here though, too. So for some of you, if you've just been kind of, I feel like this sort of, it's an Abraham Hicks things, but like this cork bobbing up and down. I feel like for somebody here, it really is about getting a grounded energy, really getting in touch with that higher source energy, that inner teacher, and becoming one with that power that creates worlds and allowing that to run through you. I look right at the temperance card as I say that. Um, now, for somebody here, too, I'm going to mention this because sometimes temperance can be the card of the alcoholic. So if somebody here has been, if it's you or the other person, really questioning your drinking or or, or you're, you are sober, you've got sobriety, it, it's on, it's like, feels like it's part of your life path. So for whoever that is to be in recovery, but it brings beautiful, a beautiful richness to your life. So if that's you, and you've been questioning it. They're telling you there's a richness if you if you look into that more in terms of looking into sobriety. But um, for you too, though, again, this there is a bit of a, a, you know, this feeling of 
being able to outrun any problem, outlast any problem, and really feeling like you're coming from a place of love because both of these have a really gentle energy and there's a softness about them, right? A really caring energy, a nurturing energy. And I do feel like for you, there's this desire, this yearning is the, honestly, the word I get is this yearning to really be nurtured in a relationship. I do feel it has more to do with that. For some of you, there might be some opportunities here with work. And, but it does feel like there might be a little bit of competition. Like if you're, if you're interviewing for a job, there will be a lot of applicants, but I do feel like you bring out the best and you might have a little bit of a coach or maybe somebody who works at the place that gives you an insider tip on what they're really looking for and listen to them. If you are going to have a job interview and you know somebody, ask questions, at, get information, come prepared. Um, that's what they're telling you. So what a beautiful card to have on your life path. This is really self-mastery. It's complete acceptance. It's acceptance of yourself. And when you know the yourself, you know the universe. And it's, you know, it's the second to last major arcana. It To me, at time, it can be about a decision that needs to be made. But I do feel for you, it's in a more global sense than that. It's not something as specific as a decision that, you know, necessarily shapes your whole life path, because on your life path, you have many, many decisions to make. So it's not a, it's not like everything's hanging in the balance, but um, this, this can be related to a decision, but it really is about forgiveness, letting go. And it's interesting too, because you have that as your destiny, but you're represented here by temperance. And I mean, really look at the similarities in the, in the angels and the cards they really are telling you that you are so much more than this physical body. You are really this spiritual being and getting in touch with that. Well, if you've been working on that practice or, you know, it's something you're interested in doing, it will change how you relate to the world. This is very, very important for somebody here because it's a huge shift in energy. And it really is this wisdom and balance and understanding. And like I said, there's a really nurturing energy in this reading in general, but this also too can be about moving past, um, past experiences. It's like moving forward and accepting the past and just be allowing it to be where it needs to be and not bringing it forward with you. And there's such relief in that. So in the distant past, you've got this 10 of wands and there was something burdensome and it may have been you investing a lot into a relationship and not getting much in return and just carrying, it feels like carrying another person. For somebody here, it might be about carrying an alcoholic. I get that. If you're sober to carry the message, not the alcoholic that comes through. And again, that could be for one person here, but there is something to do with this, but it's a change in a cycle too. So it's not like a permanent condition. You've got two tens here, but you also have 10 and 10 in judgment. So you've got a very strongly indicated new cycle here. And I feel like it brings clarity and it brings stability. So whereas this is work, this is efforting. And for somebody here, it might've been a lot of like manifesting from the solar plexus level. And kind of, a lot of people will do that, but sometimes what that can involve is taking from other people. And when we do it that way, we get little bits and pieces of what we want, but we never get the whole thing. We never get that big, beautiful, energetic field that really brings us up and, and makes us feel like this is a miracle to be here, you know? So in the more recent past, you've got this Knight of Wands. You might have gotten communication from somebody, like I said, an ex, or you may have somebody new who comes on the scene and or recently has come on, especially with this page of wands here too. This is all about action. It's taking action. It's moving forward. And so some of you may have been doing some things to get, put yourself out there. Or if you haven't, they're telling you, put yourself out there because there's love here. It, or if it's in a job too, start putting, throwing your name in the hat because you have opportunities, but they're telling you, you have to take some action. If you stay stagnant, nothing will come about really. There's possibility and great potential here, 
I mean, you really do have infinite potential, but you have to do something to move it forward. So you have the energy here to do it. So you've got the seven of wands coming towards you. And, you know, sevens are about victory and success in the tarot. So it is a it is a positive card in general, but it's like finding solutions to problems. So for some of you, if you run into a bit of a snag or you seem to be finding people, but it's not the right person, they're just telling you to keep going. You're getting it. You're on the right path. And some of this actually, I feel like could be kind of fun, though. If you're going out on a lot of dates, you may find that to be fun. But there is more than just a lot of dates here. There is real love here. And something that's a commitment, somebody that does want a commitment from you. Again, there's a reconciliation here too. So for some of you, you have some work and healing to be done around that relationship. And that's what they're telling you here. It's not going to just be straightforward, you know, an officer and a gentleman where Richard Gere walks in at the end and just picks up Deborah Winger and walks out while everyone claps, okay? It's therapy. It's getting down to the bottom of stuff and figuring out what the pattern is. That's a reconciliation, people. Now, for new love, maybe you will have um, the officer and a gentleman moment. That's possible, but I do feel like that is for somebody if you're tr you're trying to get back together. And again, for jobs too, I feel like there's a little bit of competition around you, but if you get that coaching in, you get somebody that kind of mentors you. You're going to be so prepared and you're going to do awesome. So with the temperance card, this is you. And, you know, you've got this glowing around the head. If you look at that, it just glows. And it's that pure potentiality. It's being part of that infinite field of energy that creates worlds. And that's you. You have, it's like you're walking under this beautiful white light all around you, this beautiful energy all around you. This is also, though, an emotional energy. So for some of you, you are going to have a conversation with somebody and pour out your feelings. And if it's a new person, too, that may be very easy where you can be very candid. They're stable, whoever this is. There's a stable person coming, and they're able to handle this. This is not a bunch of games. It's not that Knight of Wands energy that doesn't really like those kind of conversations. This is this is a situation that will be very loving there's, like I said, great healing energy coming in too. So reconciliation people, you've definitely got an opportunity here. And there is a there is a soulmate here. So, um, you know, the other part of this, I guess I will point out, is just the sun in the background. It really is like this dawn of a new day. This sun, you know, it's like the, the sun rises behind you and tells you that you're on a new path. So... The person or situation you are attracting, you've got this hierophant here. So again, you are a student of life here. And this is a deep spiritual card, okay? It's really about connecting with that inner teacher, that higher part of you, your inner self, your inner guide, and allowing that to guide you. This, again, may be the other person and they're very spiritual and grounded, or they're naturally good at this and they don't really know what it is. They just naturally do it that way. They don't watch a bunch of videos. They don't have a subscription to Gaia TV. They're not really like that. But they've got this intuitive balanced sense that really they're doing it anyway. They just don't call it all this stuff. And that's okay too. They don't have to because they're in flow. So there is a commitment here. There is somebody who wants a deep relationship. And they, like I said, there's a richness here. There's depth here and there's something real so for some of you it's a life partner and it will be a very strong energetic connection it feels like a lifelong connection so if for some reason you do meet somebody and and maybe you don't end up i, I just feel like they're always going to be in your life whoever this is is always connected to you but in a very positive way so you do have communication coming in with the Eight of Wands, but this is also the arrows of love in the tarot. And so there's love here. There's somebody who wants to make a commitment, who wants to move forward with you, and wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. And I feel like get very transparent about some things. So for new love, old love, either way. Um, I do feel like, too, though, with work, you've got, like I said, you're going to have job offers for somebody here. And it's possible to that it'll just be within your own company, a move if you put in an internal posting, I get, like an internal job posting or job listing. 
um, that it just feels like there's sort of this rebirth coming on of moving around in a lot of different areas of your life and just changing things up, but really for the better. So you've got, before we talk about the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Pentacles, you've got this Queen of Swords coming in. And there's wisdom here, okay? For some of you, you might be attracting somebody who works in, or if you're an attorney, I get law. That was the first thing I get, somebody with a career in law. But it's somebody very cerebral, somebody with a lot of education. Um, could even be somebody who works in a lab or in science or even data. So I know it sounds boring, but um, <laughs> I mean, they might even be like some kind of political al analyst, but I do feel like it's a very... It's a very bright person. Now, the other thing with this, you've got clarity coming in. So I don't see any cards here really of confusion anyway. It's like a very straightforward reading with a lot of healing, but also this mental clarity. So there's a new cycle that begins and it brings in a lot of stability here. And like I said, money is available to you. It's a, it's like, it feels like a bit of luck though. The wheel of fortune is always turning in your favor and it brings in great success. It really is about you beginning on a, a different part of the path that feels easy. Like the path just unfolds under your feet. New opportunities and work and certainly stable money, but there's definitely a new opportunity, a new cycle in love for you coming in. So let's see what the angels have to say here, Pisces. And, um, you know, it does feel like you might have been waiting for this for a while to come to fruition, but it is coming. And there's definitely, like I said, there's definitely a lot of fire here. If you're dealing with a fire sign or it's with work, it's a nice energy to have because the wands are the upwardly mobile in the tarot. So they're always climbing that ladder of success or always climbing up. So for you in a career reading, that's a great energy to have. So let's see here what the timeline is for Pisces, please. And we'll take a yes, no, maybe whatever they tell you. All right, here we go. You've got helpful people. Didn't we talk about a mentor? It has something to do with this job thing. And maybe somebody just gives you a tip and says, hey, my company's got an opening. But they're telling you to put yourself out there. So the right people are going to come along and give you guidance. If it's not that and it's something else about like you're a blogger or you're wanting to start some kind of new endeavor, the right people are showing up who have experience with this. Be assertive. So, you know, again, I mentioned that they said put yourself out there. I think that keeps coming up for you. So don't be afraid to move forward and just be out there and be in, you know, available to people and let people know what you're interested in because even a friend might be able to find an opportunity for you. Oh God, and I was just saying opportunity as it pulled out. This is like a golden opportunity. This really is a huge break for you, I feels like. And in terms of love too, there might be some kind of chance encounter for the reconciliation people or you run into the person and it's like it's finally time. The timing is just right. Perfect timing comes through. And everything moves forward, you know. It may not move forward with that, like I said, that Knight of Wands speed and haste. But it does, with the Eight of Wands, have definitely a change in direction and some momentum behind it. So they say within the next few weeks. So good things are coming for sure. And let's see what the... Uh, they gave you an emphatic yes. So this is you holding the moon in one hand and the sun in the other, which I do like since um, you are the moon. And so you're in the center of the universe. You are creating your own reality. You're a deliberate creator here. You can have it do or be anything because you are in tune with a power that creates worlds. You really are. You're in flow here. So Great things shall come to pass for you, Pisces. I love you so much, and I'll be back again soon.